Hello everybody, it's me, Shad Polynerdic, back to talk about some role-playing games, or a game really. Um, it's one I just discovered a couple weeks ago, according to itch.io, I uh, um, purchased it 18 days ago. I finally got to play it this week, uh, to start playing it rather. It's a solo journaling game, uh, you know I like those a whole lot for when I can't get together with anyone to play, which is most of the time. Uh, so I play a lot of solo journaling games. Um, this one is called, as soon as I find my button here, The Last Tea Shop. It is uh, by Spring Villager. As I said, you can get it on itch.io. Uh, I will put a link in the video description stuff down below. Uh, it is a game about running a tea shop on the ethereal border, if you will. Uh, the, the border between life and death. Uh, and your customers are departed souls. Um, and this, you know, it sets up the rules, how to set up your shop. You know, there's tables to get the location, you know, a couple D6 dice rolls. Um, you, you go through the, the, the setup of getting your shop, the location, the local ingredients, the affinities. There, there's all sorts of interesting information. I don't want to put the PDF up because... While it is free, unless you buy the expanded version, um, which is only five bucks, uh, you uh, you know you you I guess it's not free. It's pay what you want, but I think it's worth the five dollars. Um, I had a lot of fun last night scribbling in a new journal. Got a new journal specifically for it, or opened a new journal specifically for it, um, and and it's just a good storytelling exercise like all role play is but especially the solo role plays uh solo role playing games definitely um let you flex your writer muscle uh your storytelling creativity stuff like that highly recommend it um obviously having just started it i have not finished a run of it uh but it does have a definitive end to the story when you're playing uh you reach a point where it is story's over uh like i tend to do i am running this game in my own homebrew world instead of the real world uh, that was easy to do considering there are some mystical elements uh, mixed in with the story a couple of the uh customers are a bit fantastical uh a bit fantasy oriented uh and as such i thought it was it would it would be a good time to just like i did with uh the lighthouse game uh, just play it in my world it helps me flesh out my world a little bit this particularly helping me um, get the ins and outs of my god of death in my world and I like the idea of playing you know this individual um, running a tea shop helping souls pass on to the other side and you know, find closure, stuff like that. Very, very interesting game. Cannot recommend it enough. It's pay what you want. Or $5 for the extended, you know, slightly longer version. I checked. They do not have it in print right now. Uh, it's out of stock. And I checked a couple local game stores that sell these kind of, of zines. And uh, my game stores didn't have it either. Uh, so PDF is the way to go. Uh, I think if you like, if you're like me and you like these kind of soloing journal, solo journaling games, uh, it, it will be right up your alley. So give it a look uh, and see if it's your kind of thing. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe for more video game and TTRPG content. I, I'm trying to do more and more of this sort of thing. It's hard to 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 do when you spend most of your time doing solo stuff. But anytime I find something that, that, that tickles me and, and I think is share worthy, know that I will do exactly that. I will share with you the fun things I find in the world. Until next time.